Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Target Exclusive Maximal T-Rex. Now T-Rex here was donated to the channel by Patriot Prime Reviews superfan Alex Dunn. And he only asked two things in return. Number one, review T-Rex. And number two, give him away. So at the very end of this review, I'm going to tell you how you can enter for a chance to win this T-Rex figure. So Alex, thank you so much. Now, real quick, let's take a look at the packaging. You've got T-Rex here in robot mode and dinosaur mode. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. That's uh, back of the box. We've got robot mode and dinosaur mode once again. And fantastic Kingdom artwork there on the side. Man, I love this artwork. Now, as you can see, T-Rex here is a repaint of Kingdom Beast Wars Megatron which that's what the original T-Rex was, a repaint of Beast Wars Megatron for the 2001 Beast Machines line. T-Rex was the leader of the Dinobots in their subline. So now, without further ado, let's get T-Rex opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get T-Rex all opened up out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But if you happen to have Transformers Kingdom Beast Megatron, you know how to transform this guy. And speaking of Beast Megatron, let's go ahead and bring him in, since T-Rex here is just a repaint of Beast Megatron. So instead of going into a full review of T-Rex, I'm just going to do a comparison video so you can actually see the differences in the paint schemes. And of course, the main difference you see where T-Rex is orange, blue, silver, and gray compared to Beast Megatron that is purple, silver, black, green, and tan. Now, aside from the main collars, another difference between these two figures, let me get them together here, is the paint on the face. They gave T-Rex here a white paint line right in between the lips. So T-Rex looks more like he's burying his teeth opposed to Megatron. And that's really about the only real difference between these two figures. Now, the one thing that really stands out with T-Rex here is the chest and legs are really plain. Beast Megatron has details here. He's got the black and the silver, silver there in the vents, where T-Rex at least has this silver section right here below the head where the spikes or teeth are, but the rest of this is really lacking, and, and that's a disappointment. I mean, I it just, it really takes away a lot from the robot mode. Now, the dinosaur pieces or parts with all the texture and collars look great, especially that blue. I love the blue on T-Rex. He looks great, but that gray just really stands out compared to Beast Megatron here where they actually have 
some nice paint applications. As I pointed out, you got the silver details, the purple here on the belt buckle, and they just, this guy is really lacking. Now, of course, articulation is exactly the same as Beast Megatron, and that is pretty much it. There is a good comparison of the two in robot mode. So now let's go take a look at them in dinosaur mode. And now we have the Battle of the Beasts, T-Rex versus Megatron. And as far as dino modes are concerned, T-Rex just kills it. I love the look of this dinosaur mode, especially all of that blue. That just really, really pops. Great paint applications here in the mouth. He's got a gray roof of his mouth, white teeth, and a red tongue with yellow eyes. Down here on the claws, they're kind of a off-white or gray. Of course, he's got all the same texture as Megatron, but man, he looks so good. A more realistic-looking dinosaur than Megatron. Of course, we don't know what dinosaurs really look like. But yeah, I mean, Megatron's great for what he is. I mean, we know he's the giant purple Beast Wars Megatron. Yes, but T-Rex here just kills it. I love the look of his dinosaur mode. I mean, beast mode, T-Rex wins, hands down. I love it. So there you go. That's a great comparison shot right there. So there you go, guys. T-Rex in T-Rex mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom T-Rex with Kingdom Optimus Primal. Kingdom Rhinox, and Netflix Cheetor. The Transformers Kingdom Target Exclusive Maximal T-Rex is a really good figure. I absolutely loved the Kingdom Beast Megatron mold, so all my love of that figure carries over for this guy, except for the lack of paint in robot mode. As I said, the chest is just so plain it detracts from everything else in robot mode. Now, I did forget to point out the legs are very plain as well, but we got a little bit of red right there for the hip missile launchers. But man, they really could have done so much more with the chest. Though, upon further inspection, the original T-Rex figure was kind of plain in this area too. So, once again, they're doing a throwback to that original toy. Dinosaur mode, however, knocks it out of the park. I love the look of T-Rex's dinosaur mode. The T-Rex just looks more realistic than Beast Megatron's purple, let's just say it, Barney look. So yeah, dinosaur mode is where it's at for this figure right here. So there you have it. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Target Exclusive T-Rex. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Maximal T-Rex belong in your collection? Well, if you're a fan of the 2000 Robots in Disguise Beast Wars line, I'd say absolutely this guy is a great homage to that original toy. Now, granted, the robot mode is a little plain looking. He more than makes up for it in dinosaur mode. Now, if you're not a fan of that series or really don't remember that much about it, I say this figure is an easy pass since, as i shown, he is just a repaint of Beast Wars Megatron. But I guess you can find out for yourself if you happen to win T-Rex with my T-Rex raffle. Now, Alex, who donated T-Rex to the channel, was originally from Princeton, West Virginia. And you guys, if you follow the channel, know that I have shopped at 80s Toys of Princeton, West Virginia quite often. Bert the Stormtrooper and I even did a live show there. It is a great shop and highly recommended for anybody in the Princeton, West Virginia area. So what Alex asked me to do was do a channel, or not a channel, a shout out to 80s Toys of Princeton, West Virginia along with the drawing. So I think this is how I'm going to do it. To enter my drawing for this T-Rex figure, I'm going to pack him up nice back in his original packaging for you you just need to comment 80s toys of princeton rex virginia it's a done deal see what i did there t-rex alex dunn 
and that'll enter you in my drawing to win this T-Rex. And in one week, I will use the YouTube random comment picker to pick a winner. Now, one stipulation, this is open to everybody who is a subscriber of my channel, but if you happen to live overseas, I'm gonna to have to ask your help for shipping. If you're in the States and you win, I will ship it on me, but if you're out of the country or overseas, I do need help to ship this guy, so please understand that. So once again, comment, 80s Toys of Princeton, Rex, Virginia. It's a done deal and get yourself entered to win this T-Rex figure. And once again, big shout out to Alex Dunn for donating T-Rex to the channel for this giveaway. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! 10,000 by TFCon.